answering your questions from the ITAP NAPA bottle experimental video, I just realized there was a lot of comments that I haven't have found the time to answer just yet. And I thought, why don't we do a video answer for you guys? Answer your comments, let's just kick it. I'm Dr. Hans, this is Dr. Hans Brewery in the forest. <sighs> Cheers. I do videos here on YouTube about beer and home brewing. And I did this video, two part video, where I tried bottling a very sensitive beer, New England IPA. Hoppy beers are much more sensitive than other beers. So I had my fair share of uh, ruined New England IPAs and IPAs, both from beer mail sent in to me and also beer I picked up at the, the bottle shop. Systembolaget here in Sweden, the only store here in Sweden who are allowed to sell alcohol beverages over 3.5%. So a lot of breweries are also struggling with bottling this beer style. So it's not just as home brewers. And as I have had bottles of uh, New England IPAs and other sensitive beers shipped to me and uh, I thought I want to try if it was possible for me to bottle a New England IPA so I did it four different ways with the with the ITAP or we can say four different varieties with the ITAP and uh, I faked a uh, shipment of those bottles but you can go and watch those videos so I gave it the full postman treatment as I called it and I drove around with uh, uh, the beers for two days in my car and uh, placed it hot and just did stupid shit with that uh, package and then we came back and okay spoiler alert after a week there was no difference in the uh, bottles and uh, I know and I said it that of course that sucked but of course on the other hand that did not suck but I know that it would have been a better video if one of the beers would have been ruined but that doesn't mean that the result would have been better I hope that little introduction made some uh, sense as we go into the questions and uh, big apologies I'm gonna destroy a lot of names here but it is what it is just trying to find a quiet place here where you can record without have the sun blasting in. Let's jump into your questions. I will stop bitching now. That's not even the right app. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Mr. Trout, looking at it wrong way round, buddy. Experiment doesn't suck. Experiment shows the ITAP does a great job and you don't need to faff about. Success, I'd say. Yeah, I, I, I am actually totally totally with you. I think it's better that it came out this way, even though it would have made a better video if one of the bottles had gone bad. But this is an awesome like ground point for moving f f forward with this. Helmet 01, I'm gonna short this down. Why ascorbic acid? It does not adjust pH. Of course it could do, maybe, but it's an antioxidant. That, that's why. So it's not like using uh, just in a pH adjustment like lactic acid or something and you also writes here about squeezing the bottles yes try to squeeze out the headspace it, it will only improve when I have bottled with regular bottles glass bottles I've tried to fill up to as much as possible Earl Bischer Bryggeri I tap delivers every time yes why do you use PET because of the postman, I don't want my bottles to be delivered broken. That's why I use PET. By airborne, it will not extend. You work in the, uh, in the air business, I know. Is it as a steward? You will have to explain that. Small Space Brewing, great video. I recently opened two bottles. They were bottled with Bowl ITAP six months ago. The beer was wonderful, which surprised me actually. The ITAP is awesome. Great, good work. Yo Simmons, no, this video sucks. <laughs> I love it. Good man, no result is a result man. Yes, of course it is. The no result is an awesome result. It means that you should be able to bottle a beer, send it. It takes for me like two days to get a beer to UK, one and two days here in Sweden. So after a week of the postman treatment, it should still be 
no difference from serving it from my keg if I do it this way and uh, we'll come to some other things further along here talking about it. Louis Henrik Pull, vitamin C is getting a space in my heart. I use it to uh, guarantee no chlorine in my initial water. I overdo it maybe but I can split the tablet between beginning and the end of brew day. Yes, cool, because ascorbic acid is more or less vitamin C. Mr. Lot, here's a wish list. Try this again with these conditions. One bot, okay, this is a lot of... I can't try this again. I said it uh, in the other video, if you guys want me to. I asked for 500 likes and I think we're up to like 400 now, so you can go back and smash the like button on that video as well as this video so I know that there is an interest in me putting in a lot of more hours into this experiment because these things takes a lot of my time to try to put out this content for you guys. You could consider supporting on, on Patreon or becoming a channel member or just buy me a beer all links down below or buy an epic t-shirt or something. Justin Guttachar Sorry, I'm sorry, I heard that I'm, I'm saying that wrong. Thank you, good doctor. Maybe your bitch proof method worked too well and protected the beer too well. I don't think it has anything to do with it. It was just people actually, it was some bitching. See if we come to that bitching about the bitch proof method. So uh, it didn't help from bitching. Hey, docs on one week is not long, long enough for effects of oxidization to activate you should wait two to three months then sample actually as we said earlier I think with doing it for one week and we know now that there were no changes in none of the bottle that's an awesome awesome success for this experiment two to three months I don't know they, they, some some breweries can't make that. I think that's too long. But uh, it would be interesting to do a longer test, of course. And I might just do that. Richard Brown, it might be interesting to show a more extreme difference in oxidization potential. Filling a bottle directly from a party tap with no perching and using bull lights up. But I, don't, I didn't want to see Richard on how to make beer oxidized. What I was after is, I'm trying to find your comment here again, sorry. What I was after is, could I bottle from the ITAP and, and, and ship it as beer mail? Will it be as good or will it be bad after a week? It's not hard getting oxidized beer. Erik Boylund, this is in Swedish. Thank you for a very good test. My own experiments is that my beer have been Okay, no matter how I um, bottle with the ITAP. Okay, thank you, Erik. Rex, ah, oh, you get me flushing. Your channel is great, I never miss an episode. Thank you so much. Shaggy Beer Proof, Hans, no worries, brother. Didn't suck. <laughs> okay, thank you. Just because you didn't get the result you expected doesn't mean it wasn't a good experiment. Yes, I'm totally with you. We have a good ground plane now for further experiments. Leo. Jakowski, I really appreciate this video and research. I've been led to believe crown caps can let air in. That might make a difference. Good to know pet balls are reliable and we don't need to be so serious about purging the headspace. At least not for a week, but there are some other factors that will come in here when we get to Mr. Hophead's comment. So uh, don't just uh, butt out now. Stick to the end. Thanks for doing this video. As I comment on the previous video, my bottles oxidized before being sold to a shop using the ITAP. Mine were fine the first week, the second week mark, all oxidized however. That's what I'm talking about. You can get them oof, really bad, really quick if it's sensitive beer. However, I still have around 30 bottles in the fridge, two to three months on, and they aren't any further oxidized to how they were at the two week point, that's interesting. Also still tastes reasonable, but just not as fresh when dispensed from the cake. Thank you for sharing. This is awesome how we guys can learn from each other. Lawrence O'Connell, don't be disappointed. <laughs> no, no, I, I shouldn't be disappointed that none of the beers got 
bad because that's what he's mentioning. Another great video. Thank you so very much. What we do know is that if there's a difference, it does not show in a week. Yes, that is good to know. Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying all along. This also shown your fermentation and transfer is clean. Yes, and that's what we're going to talk about in a little while. An occurrence to maintain clean process, therefore prove two things. Excellent. Maybe a bad control would have been a half full, unflashed and shake it. I'm sure the oxygen would have ruined the beer, right? Yeah, it would have been interesting. And um, I commented on this a little earlier and maybe I should do something like that. I listen. Come on, Alexander Stolner, shouldn't vacuum see the bottles to allow the natural pressure difference to affect it? Also, you should have waited 8 to 12 weeks. Okay, I'm just gonna skip it. The British insurance didn't work. Sorry, Alexander, just kidding. Party time brewing, great video. I recommend using a pressure washer to bottle the beer, and you should see some interesting result. Pressure washer to. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um... Can you, can you show me, can you send me some information about that? Alan Brand, perhaps a week was not long enough, maybe a month or more it was needed. Yes, maybe, but we know now, if your beer gets any changes in a week, you're doing something wrong. <sighs> Mr. Fomiati, Idea Doc, you could, use, could you use a flamethrower to burn the, the oxygen from the empty bottle? No, no. Don't, don't try this. Eric Forster, I think you meant to say if none other beers. Yes, thank you for correcting my English. Okay, so here we have the comment from Hoppe. This is not the last comment. We have some more to go, but this is an interesting comment. Hoppe, okay, another interesting experiment for me. The results point to the efficiency of pressure fermentation when it comes to keeping oxygen out of the equation rather than the effectiveness of flushing a bottle with CO2. Yeah, because I was talking about that in the video also. I think that the results we saw here could have to do with it being pressurized fermented. So I did everything I could to keep oxygen out after pitching the yeast. All the lines were flushed with CO2. I also used ascorbic acid. So I think by being where anal at all of the brewing steps are showing in the final result here, but that's just a theory, but I think it makes sense. Keep up the good work. I shorted down your message. You can go and read all the comments. Jonas, also I think you can cut down on the amount of ITAP sample and add another using get the blaster. Maybe? Callahad, I'm in the a week isn't long enough oxidized camp. Shame you didn't just leave it another week, few weeks, Doc. Most of my bottles from Bucket Beers didn't really oxidize much until week three. Okay, thank you. Lars Ku, awesome video, man. Would love to see you bottle straight from the Fermzilla and let it sit for two months. I think a lot of people, including me, don't have the money or space for Kieser. Doesn't really gonna matter if you bottle from a keg or directly from a pressurized vessel. It will be the same approach. Ben Davis, well, I'll be damned. Sounds like a brilliant experiment. Lol, taster couldn't tell any discernible difference. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I know what you mean. Neil Stroll, very interesting. Thanks for taking the time and making the effort. Always a good watch. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Abram RC, I guess three weeks you can see a difference. Maybe. Rafael Pistano, hey doctor, maybe in experiment try using transplant bottle and just leave them at room temp recording, uh, the color changing. Raphael, I think you're onto something here and I think that would be super interesting to do like a time-lapse video um, where we have, maybe I can take a picture a day maybe, some, we can see if we get some changes or picture in the morning, picture in the evening, some backlit. That would be really cool. Thank you so much for your suggestion. If you want to learn more about pressurized fermentation, I have a whole playlist about pressurized fermentation, or you can go and watch this video, which you two think is a good watch for you. Yeah. Considering supporting, as I said, on Patreon or becoming channel members, just buy me a beer, all links down below. Cheers, and see you in the next one.